Okay, and you can see those materials here are uh, are a little darker, and they will also render darker. The next thing I want to do is is a little trick here to add a shrub up really close to kind of cover up this area. So it's and it'll also give you some perspective if you put one of these trees up really close. So watch what we're going to do again. We're going to go view, and we'll say uh, close all extra windows, and then I'm going to open up my site plan, and I'm going to tile again. Watch what I'm going to do. My camera is over here somewhere, right? That is taking this. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to go to this view here. Click in here and I'm going to right click here and say show camera. Click. It's going to show me where that camera is. What I want to do is add a shrub right about right there. So watch what, watch. I'm going to take this, this one of these shrubs and I'm going to use my control button and drag it over to here. Then I'm going to make it really big. I'm going to edit it, duplicate it. I'm going to make it like 12 feet. Let's go 10 feet. Boom. Hit OK. Oh, it's already taken. Jungle. OK, so then all I have to do is change it then. Pick on here and change it to be a 10 footer. Click out. Now, I don't see it in my camera. Watch as I, aha, you see it's coming over here. OK. See what I'm doing? I'm bringing that over and what that's going to do is you plunk that right in front just like that, click out and what will happen is when you render this view you're going to have a shrub up really front here and it's going to give you some nice perspective. Okay, So we want to save this again here. So we've got our trees, our shrubs, we're going to go into another render, we click on our render. We're going to go to, uh, let's go um, Let's go best, which is going to take a little longer. Exterior is good. Let's go to custom image here. I'm going to go back in here and I've got uh, some image files uh, in a different folder. Uh, in this folder here. And I've got this interesting one here, trees. So we're going to try this one out. And all this is is a picture of a bunch of trees and I've even cropped it. You're trying to get something that's going to blend in good. And the nice thing is this will blend in nice with our stuff in the background. I'm going to say stretch. You see what's going to happen is these trees here are going to get blended in with this stuff over here. Same as over here. Okay, It's all going to kind of get blended in and it might have a really nice effect. So we're going to hit OK on that and we are ready to render. So here we go. Render. And here we are at about 50%. And actually, those trees are really looking good. I'm, uh, I'm anxious to see how the uh, reflection uh, pond will turn out. And there we are, 99% rendered. So that took about 14 minutes to do and not too bad and I actually had a little computer problem in between and all those little shrubs that I had raised up uh, I lost that um, my Revit locked up on me so I had to uh, kind of get caught up again and forgot to lower those so I can see in here right now I want to lower those again um, the darkness of the materials looks good I probably want to edit my topo surface and raise that up near the garage over there and I would even go as far as uh, lessening the waves on here. I wouldn't mind getting a full reflection of the building if I could, but for the most part that turned out really nice, especially the trees. So we definitely want to say save to project. Give this a name. That'll probably be our cover sheet. But watch what else we can do. In here we can say adjust exposure. Okay, this is a really neat tool. We're going to go into here and the first thing we're going to do is say reset to default. Boom. And it's going to reset this picture when I hit apply. Now watch what happens. Just as an example, look what it says. These are different exposure, highlights, midtones, shadows. Watch what happens if I take this and slide it and hit apply. Boom. Okay. Watch if this is a really powerful one. And the thing is this guy here between the the um, exposure and the midtones Okay, you can really change the appearance and then bring up the highlights a little bit. Okay, look, bring up the highlights a little more. 
You can really bring it out. Okay. Uh, let's take these midtones and make them a little bit brighter. Okay. Let's what hap see what happens if we take our exposure and darken it up just a hair. Okay. Now let's go down to the shadows. Darken up the shadows. Okay. Maybe brighten up the shadows. So this is where you can really take a rendering that looks mediocre and by going in here, warming these things up, okay, watch what happens if you slide it all the way. It gets really orange. If you go all the way here, it goes kind of blue. Okay, cool, warm. So you kind of find that spot in between here. If it gets all out of whack, all you have to do is go back and hit reset to default. So I'm going to warm this back up a little bit. Okay, uh, saturation, what happens if we crank up the saturation? Ooh, what happens if we gray it out? Okay, it gets rid of the color. So we want it probably somewhere, you know, inside of here. So that's really turning out nice. I don't know if I need it quite that warm. Let's bring back the warmth a little bit. Okay. Uh, the green sure is popping. The colors are really popping, that's for sure. Uh, shadows, lighten that up a bit. Uh, midtones, let's try lightening up the midtones. No, don't like it. Bring it back. Uh, highlights, brighter, darker. Okay. Let's try taking that exposure down a bit. There we go. So you can play with all these numbers okay then when you're done you hit OK and now you can say save to project it's going to give it another one okay so make sure you're saving them and now you can close this off now under renderings over here okay we have our original then we have the first one that we did with our trees and then we have this one which we tweaked our exposure etc so look at the difference between the trees and the color here and the pond as opposed to the original which was here so depending on which one really you like I don't know this one almost looks too bright I almost maybe prefer the original okay so what you can do now is take this and put it on a sheet so now back to my cover sheet okay take this guy delete it take this rendered view pull it in place it on there okay what's the problem size pick on here and what we want to do is stretch it but you can't stretch it from here because it's a render view you have to open it up in here pick on here and stretch it okay and I think you can give the properties here so let's make this uh, two feet two feet and this will adjust accordingly hit apply zoom out when you go back to your cover sheet there's your two foot picture and let's make it even bigger uh, let's make it two foot three hit apply nice okay so pick on here all we have to do is maybe make this a little bit smaller take this guy and nudge it up let's get this guy out of the trees here and maybe we do need to make it wider just to make it fit pick a hard time stretching that there we go over just up above that tree grab my CAD clip sign bring it down there we go okay starting to look like a real cover sheet 